In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract or rip subtitle files or closed caption files from a movie or a video that has embedded soft subtitles. Basically, what I want to show you is in the previous video, I showed you how you can embed a closed caption file or subtitle file into a video using Handbrake. Now, I want us to remove the subtitle file that we embedded. Maybe if you want to make any changes to the caption file, or the subtitle file or if you just want to remove it for maybe a client who needs the subtitle file or anything else or if you want to use it to make any translations then you can use this method to do that what we need for this video is we need a video or our videos because I'm going to be using the videos we used in the previous tutorials to do this example and you also need an application called subtitle edit so basically I have subtitle edit open and uh, what I'm going to do is anything that is not easily understandable kindly feel free to ask me a question in the comments and uh, any application that I mention you'll find the links in the description below so basically what we need now is our video and uh, the video we need is we can either work with either the one with a single caption file or the one with a multiple I think I'll just do both so I'll just click on this now, all you have to do is just drag and drop your video into uh, the captions or the subtitles uh, canvas and just drop it. And uh, automatically, what will happen is that subtitle edit will realize that the video has embedded captions. And this is what happens. Basically, these are the subtitle files from the video. So if if I can just like go back uh, to the start uh, and let's say something like the source view uh, and just navigate to the top uh, and just come to this uh, section and just double click on the video with the recent update actually not even on the video but I can just do this uh, subtitle add subtitle track interface it's now easier than before to download YouTube sometimes Hi, my name is David from Freelancer. I can just pause it uh, and just for clarity purposes, I can just double click on the English subtitle file. Just double click on it. Uh, you'll see it, ha uh, it doesn't have the correct like uh, formatting, uh, but that's easy to fix uh, using subtitle uh, edit. Uh, but you can see uh, the timing. If you look at the timing, uh, you can see everything is as required. So basically, what I can say for this is that uh, other than these uh, jumbled up uh, uh, timings that you we can easily fix inside subtitle edit, if we look at the video and compare the subtitle file to what we have the video, then that's what we require. Now, we all, I want to do the same. No, I don't want to save it, no. I just want to go to the new clean interface and do the same uh, for the multiple closed caption files in a video and just click on this and just drag it and drop here now basically what will happen is that the subtitle handler will realize that there are three embedded subtitle files basically in the previous video on embedding multiple caption files I embedded the English French and Portuguese caption files so basically subtitle edit has recognized that and now it's prompting me to choose what I want so you can choose only one you cannot choose all of them so let's say I choose maybe uh, the Portuguese and click on OK basically it's been populated uh, and if I come to the Portuguese uh, come to the source and just uh, open this up you'll see that uh, everything is as required here uh, everything is as required and corresponds to what has been imported so basically if you want to just rip that out you can do that and then come to the file and then go to save us and then save the file to the format that you want to save choosing any format that you want and uh, depending on the final destination of the subtitle file that you wanted to extract then you'll know what format to save it as uh, this is subrip uh, format the SRT format and that's how you can easily do this extracting or ripping of a subtitle file that is embedded in a video and please note that 
it has not been permanently embedded because when a video or a subtitle file is embedded or permanently added or burnt in or hard coded in a video that's like saying you've added extra information or extra graphics to a video it's very very difficult to do away with that permanently added subtitle without doing some very major damage to the video so this is just an embedded soft subtitle that you can easily uh, work on and uh, yes uh, just just uh, for the purposes of this video uh, let's just drag and drop this here uh, let's look at the source view let's just uh, click file save now just uh, the reason why I just did that is uh, in case uh, this is an issue to anyone and I just double click on it and you see the formatting has been applied correctly so that uh, if you want to apply the formatting correct formatting using subtitle edit uh, you can easily do that thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you've learned a lot in the last few series of uh, subtitling using paid and free application if you're interested in learning how to caption and subtitle videos kindly check out my captioning course on Udemy and enroll for a discounted price using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, never stop learning. Bye bye.